In the far reaches of prehistoric times, the land we now know as England was a wild and untamed place. A realm where nature reigned supreme, the islands were inhabited by a myriad of animals, from woolly mammoths to wild horses. But it was not long before the first stirrings of human activity began to reshape this landscape. The earliest known human activity in England can be traced back to Happysburg, Norfolk, where archaeologists have discovered flint tools dating back approximately 800,000 years. These primitive tools, crafted with remarkable skill, provide a tantalizing glimpse into the lives of the earliest inhabitants of England. But it was the arrival of Homo sapiens, some 40,000 years ago, that truly marked the beginning of England's human history. These early humans were not merely survivors, they were innovators and explorers, pushing the boundaries of what was possible in their quest for survival. They mastered the art of tool making, learned to control fire, and began to develop complex social structures. Among the most enduring symbols of this era is Stonehenge, a monumental testament to the engineering skills of Neolithic humans. This enigmatic stone circle, erected around 5,000 years ago, continues to mystify scholars and visitors alike. But beyond its mystery, Stonehenge stands as a testament to the ingenuity and determination of these early humans, their ability to shape the world around them, and their deep connection with the natural world. The Stone Age societies in England were not isolated. They were part of a larger network of cultures, trading goods and ideas with their neighbors across Europe. These connections helped to stimulate cultural and technological advancements, setting the stage for the Bronze Age and eventually the Iron Age. From humble beginnings, the seeds of civilization took root in England, setting the stage for a rich and complex history. As we delve deeper into this history, We'll explore how these early societies evolved, how they were influenced by the arrival of new peoples and ideas, and how they laid the foundations for the England we know today. From the Stone Age to the Space Age, the story of England is a tale of innovation, resilience, and an unending quest for knowledge. As centuries passed, the island caught the eye of a burgeoning empire Rome. The land we know as England was not always the nation we see today. In the dawn of the first century AD, it was a collection of tribal lands, living under the constant threat of invasion. The Romans, with their famed legions and strategic prowess, set their sights on this island and in 43 AD, they launched their invasion. It was a military campaign like no other, led by Emperor Claudius himself. The Romans, armed with superior tactics and weaponry, swiftly conquered the southern parts of the island. But their victory was not only in battles, it was also marked by the establishment of settlements, roads, and infrastructure that would lay the groundwork for a future nation. One of the most significant constructions of the Roman occupation was Hadrian's Wall. Named after Emperor Hadrian, who commissioned it, this stone and turf fortification stretched from coast to coast, serving as a defensive line and a symbol of Roman power. Its ruins stand to this day, whispering tales of the ancient empire's far-reaching influence. Another pivotal establishment was Londinium, a settlement on the River Thames. Over time, this Roman city grew in significance, becoming a bustling hub of commerce and culture. Londinium would later evolve into the city we now know as London, the capital of England. The Roman occupation lasted nearly 400 years. In that time, they not only built walls and cities, but also introduced systems of law, governance and education. They left a lasting influence on the language, culture and infrastructure of England. Yet the Romans also faced resistance. The native tribes, led by figures like the legendary Queen Boudicca, fought back against their occupiers, leaving their own mark on the history of the nation. The Romans left an indelible mark on England, shaping its future in ways that still resonate today. Their influence is seen in the roads we travel, the laws we follow and the cities we live in. The Roman occupation was a defining chapter in the story of England, a chapter that still echoes in the landscape of the country. In the wake of Rome's departure, England entered a tumultuous period known as the Middle Ages. A time of conflict, power struggles and significant societal changes, the Middle Ages altered the course of England's history dramatically. First came the Viking invasions, a series of relentless assaults that began in the late 8th century. These fearless Scandinavian warriors raided traded and eventually settled, leaving an indelible mark on English culture, language and geography. Then, 
the establishment of the Anglo-Saxon Heptarchy, a system of seven kingdoms, marked another pivotal moment in England's Middle Ages. This era was characterized by ongoing battles for supremacy, with the kingdoms of Mercia and Wessex often emerging as dominant forces. The Heptarchy system, though fraught with conflict, was instrumental in shaping England's political landscape. But perhaps the most significant event of the Middle Ages was the Norman Conquest in 1066. William the Conqueror, Duke of Normandy, claimed the English throne, defeating Harold II at the Battle of Hastings. This victory heralded a new era of Norman rule, profoundly influencing English law, governance and language. The introduction of feudalism, the consolidation of power and the architectural revolution, epitomized by the construction of formidable stone castles, all stemmed from this Norman influence. The Middle Ages also bore witness to the birth of the English Parliament and the signing of the Magna Carta. The latter, a charter of rights agreed upon in 1215, was a landmark in the history of constitutional law. It served to limit the king's absolute power, establishing the principle that everybody, including the monarch, was subject to the law. This document was a precursor to the system of governance that would evolve over the coming centuries. The Middle Ages was a period of profound transformation, laying the groundwork for the England we know today. From the Viking invasions to the Norman conquest, these pivotal moments shaped the nation's identity, built its institutions and set the stage for future developments. The page turns to one of the most iconic periods in English history, the reign of the Tudors. The Tudor dynasty, a family of Welsh origins, rose to power with the victory of Henry Tudor, later known as Henry VII, at the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1485. This marked the end of the Wars of the Roses, a series of civil wars for the English throne and the beginning of a new era. Henry VIII, his son, is perhaps the most well-known of the Tudor monarchs. His reign was marked by his six marriages and the break with the Roman Catholic Church. This break, known as the English Reformation, led to the establishment of the Church of England and forever changed the religious landscape of the country. Henry's daughter, Elizabeth I, often called the Virgin Queen or Good Queen Bess, was a significant figure in her own right. Her reign, known as the Elizabethan era, was a time of relative peace and prosperity, marked by the flourishing of English drama with playwrights like William Shakespeare and the exploration and colonization of the New World by adventurers such as Sir Walter Raleigh. But perhaps the most significant event of Elizabeth's reign was the defeat of the Spanish Armada in 1588. This naval victory against Spain, the most powerful empire of the time, raised England's status on the global stage and marked the beginnings of the British Empire. The Tudors were also known for their patronage of the arts, their elaborate court life, and the development of an increasingly centralized English state. The Tudor period was a time of immense change, setting England on a path to global dominance. Their reign ended with the death of Elizabeth I in 1603, but the effects of their policies, particularly the religious and political changes, continued to be felt for centuries to come. The Tudor dynasty may have ended, but its legacy lives on, shaping the England we know today. The wheels of progress turned ever faster as England entered the Industrial Revolution. This period, starting in the late 18th century, was a time of great change and rapid advancement. England was at the forefront pioneering in technology, industry and societal transformation. The country's landscape changed dramatically, with smoke belching factories replacing green pastures as the new symbols of progress. Cotton mills, ironworks and coal mines sprang up, powered by the revolutionary steam engine. This era was defined by the people. The working class, the true engine of this revolution, laboured in challenging conditions. Yet, they were the ones who forged ahead, driving England's industrial might. It was their sweat and toil that fueled the machinery of progress. But the Industrial Revolution was not just about machines and factories. It was a time of immense social and cultural change. Education became more accessible, leading to an explosion in literacy rates. This increased knowledge among the masses, leading to a demand for political and social reforms. The turn of the 20th century saw England embroiled in two world wars, testing the nation's resolve like never before. England emerged scarred yet unbroken, a testament to the indomitable spirit of its people. The aftermath of the wars brought about the decline of the British Empire. 
countries once under British rule sought independence, leading to the dissolution of the empire. But out of the ashes, the modern United Kingdom was born. Today it stands as a beacon of democracy and multiculturalism, a modern nation shaped by its rich and complex history. The Industrial Revolution and the modern era are crucial chapters in England's story, highlighting the nation's ability to adapt, innovate and persevere. The challenges faced have only served to strengthen England, forging a nation that is constantly evolving, yet deeply rooted in its past. From the factories of the Industrial Revolution to the challenges of the modern era, England's story is a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of its people. As we look back on England's history, its significance cannot be overstated. From its earliest beginnings, England has been a cradle of civilization and a catalyst for change. The Stone Age settlers who first made their home on this island left behind a rich tapestry of archaeological treasures that shine a light on our prehistoric roots. The arrival of the Romans marked a pivotal moment in England's history. Their occupation brought with it roads, towns and a legal system, the building blocks of modern society. But perhaps more significantly, it set the stage for England's transformation into a multicultural society, a melting pot of ideas and influences that continues to this day. The Middle Ages saw England evolve from a collection of disparate kingdoms into a unified nation, the Norman conquest brought a profound cultural shift, forever changing the language, architecture and governance of England. This period also saw the birth of the Magna Carta, a document that has become a cornerstone of modern democracy and human rights. The Tudor dynasty heralded the rise of England as a global power. The establishment of the British Empire cast England's influence far and wide, leaving an indelible mark on countries across the globe. From India to the Americas, the English language, legal system and cultural traditions have become woven into the fabric of societies worldwide. The Industrial Revolution, born in England's factories and mills, transformed the world. It ushered in an era of technological innovation and economic growth that continues to shape our lives. From steam power to the World Wide Web, England has been at the forefront of scientific and technological advancements. From its prehistoric roots to its modern challenges, the history of England reveals a nation that has continually shaped and been shaped by the world. It's a story of resilience, innovation and the enduring human spirit. England's history is not just a chronicle of kings and queens, wars and treaties. It's a testament to the ability of ordinary people to adapt, innovate and overcome, to write their own stories in the grand tapestry of human history. It is this rich and multifaceted history that makes England what it is today a vibrant, diverse nation at the heart of the global community. From its prehistoric roots to its modern challenges, the history of England reveals a nation that has continually shaped and been shaped by the world. It's a story of resilience, innovation and the enduring human spirit. 